Dennis Rader is an American serial killer who goes by the moniker BTK, which stands for Bind, Torture, Kill. He murdered 10 people in Wichita and Park City, Kansas, between 1974 and 1991, and sent taunting letters to police and media outlets detailing his crimes. Raider resumed sending letters after a decade hiatus in 2004, leading to his arrest and subsequent guilty plea in 2005. I got nightmares in my head, I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Raider, one of four sons born to Dorothea May Raider and William Elvin Raider, was born on March 9, 1945. Raider had sadistic sexual fantasies about torturing trapped and helpless women since he was a child. He was also a zoosadist, torturing, killing, and hanging small animals. Raider acted out voyeurism, autoerotic asphyxiation, and cross-dressing sexual fetishes. He frequently spied on female neighbors while dressed in women's clothing, including stolen women's underwear, and masturbated with ropes or other bindings around his arms and neck. Years later, during his so-called cooling-off periods between murders, Raider would photograph himself bound in women's clothing and a female mask. He later admitted to acting as his victims as part of a sexual fantasy. Raider kept his sexual proclivities hidden and was widely regarded in his community as normal, polite, and well-mannered. Raider attended Kansas Wesleyan University after graduating from Wichita Heights High School, but received mediocre grades and dropped out after one year. From 1966 to 1970, he served in the United States Air Force. After his discharge, he relocated to Park City, a Wichita suburb, where he worked in the meat department of an IGA supermarket where his mother worked as a bookkeeper. On May 22, 1971, Raider married Paula Dietz. They had two children, Carrie and Brian. In 1973, he earned an associate degree in electronics from Butler County Community College in El Dorado. He then enrolled at Wichita State University, where he earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Administration of Justice in 1979. From 1974 to 1988, Raider worked at ADT Security Services Wichita office, where he installed security alarms as part of his job, often for homeowners concerned about the BTK killings. Raider worked as a census field operations supervisor in the Wichita area prior to the 1990 federal census. Raider was a member of Christ Lutheran Church in Wichita and the church council's president. He also volunteered as a Cub Scout leader. Raider's wife was granted an emergency divorce on July 26, 2005, following his arrest, waiving the normal waiting period. In a 2019 interview with ABC News, Raider's daughter Carrie stated that she still writes to her father and has forgiven him, but she still struggles to reconcile him with the BTK killer. The Christ Lutheran Church would be a key clue in leading to the arrest of Dennis Raider as the BTK killer. Four members of the Otero family were murdered in Wichita, Kansas on January 15, 1974. Joseph Otero, 38, Julie Otero, 33, Joseph Otero Jr., 9, and Josephine Otero, 11, were the victims. Charlie, Danny, and Carmen, the family's three older children who were at school at the time of the killings, discovered their bodies. Raider confessed to killing the Otero family after his arrest in 2005. In October 1974, Raider wrote a letter that was hidden inside an engineering book in the Wichita Public Library detailing the murder of the Otero family. Raider murdered three more women between the spring of 1974 and the winter of 1977. Catherine Bright, April 4, 1974, Shirley V. N. Relford, March 17, 1977, and Nancy Fox, December 8, 1977. He sent another letter to Wichita television station Cake in early 1978, claiming responsibility for the murders of the Oteros, Bright, V. N. Relford, and Fox. He came up with several names for himself, including the one that stuck, BTK. 
In this second letter, he demanded media attention, and it was finally revealed that Wichita did indeed have a serial killer on the loose. In the letter, he claimed to be motivated to kill by Factor X, which he described as a supernatural element that also motivated the murders of Jack the Ripper, son of Sam, and the Hillside Strangler. Maureen Hedge, aged 53, was discovered on May 5, 1985, at East 53rd Street North in Wichita, between North Webb Road and North Greenwich Road. On April 27th, Reader murdered her and took her body to his church, Christ Lutheran Church, where he was president of the church council. He photographed her body in various bondage positions there. Raider had previously stored black plastic sheets and other materials at the church in preparation for the murder, after which the body was dumped in a remote ditch. He dubbed his scheme Project Cookie. After the murders of three Fager family members in Wichita in 1988, a letter was received from someone claiming to be the BTK killer, in which the author denied being the perpetrator of the Fager murders. The author praised the killer for his amazing work. It wasn't until 2005 that it was proven that this letter was, in fact, written by Raider, but police do not believe he committed this crime. Dolores Davis, his final victim, was discovered on February 1, 1991, at West 117th Street North and North Meridian Street in Park City. Raider murdered her on January 19. By 2004, the investigation into the BTK killer had become a cold case. The Wichita Eagle then received a letter in March 2004 from someone going by the name Bill Thomas Kilman. The letter's author claimed to have murdered Vicki Wegerl on September 16, 1986, and included photographs of the crime scene as well as a photocopy of her driver's license, which had been stolen at the time of the crime. Up to this point, it had not been proven conclusively that Wegerl was killed by BTK. Police received previously unknown evidence after collecting DNA from under Wegerl's fingernails. In order to find the serial killer, they began DNA testing hundreds of men. More than 1,300 DNA samples were collected and later destroyed by court order. In May 2004, Wichita's Cake Television Station received a letter containing chapter headings for the BTK story, fake IDs, and a word puzzle. A package was discovered taped to a stop sign at the intersection of First and Kansas Roads in Wichita on June 9th. It featured graphic depictions of the Otero murders as well as a sketch titled The Sexual Thrill Is My Bill. A chapter list for a proposed book titled The BTK Story was also included. In July, a package dropped into a public library's return slot contained even stranger material. A manila envelope was dropped into a UPS box in Wichita in October 2004. It contained numerous cards with images of terror and child bondage pasted on them, a poem threatening the life of lead investigator Lieutenant Ken Landwer, and a false autobiography containing numerous details about Raider's life. Wichita police received another package from the BTK killer in December 2004. This time, the package was discovered in Murdoch Park in Wichita. It held Nancy Fox's driver's license, as well as a doll with symbolically bound hands and feet and a plastic bag tied over its head. More postcards were sent to Cake in February 2005, and another cereal box found in a rural area contained another bound doll. Raider asked police in letters whether his writings could be traced if they were stored on a floppy disk. The police responded to his inquiry in a newspaper ad published in the Wichita Eagle, stating that using the disk was safe. Raider sent a purple 1.44 megabyte Memorex floppy disk to Fox affiliate KSAS-TV in Wichita on February 16, 2005. A letter, a gold-colored necklace with a large medallion, and a photocopy of the cover of John Sanford's 1989 novel Rules of Prey about a serial killer were also included. Police discovered metadata embedded in a deleted Microsoft Word document that was still stored on the floppy disk, unbeknownst to Raider. Christ Lutheran Church was mentioned in the metadata, and the document was last modified by Dennis. 
An internet search revealed that the church council's president was a Dennis Raider. A black Jeep Cherokee, the type of vehicle seen in the Home Depot surveillance footage, was parked outside Raider's house when investigators drove by. This was strong circumstantial evidence against Raider, but detaining him required more direct evidence. A warrant was obtained for the testing of a pap smear taken from Raider's daughter at the Kansas State University Medical Clinic. DNA tests revealed a familial match between the pap smear and the sample from Weggerl's fingernails, indicating that the killer was related to Raider's daughter. This, along with other evidence, led to Raider's arrest. Raider was arrested shortly after noon on February 25, 2005, while driving near his home in Park City. Do you know why you're going downtown, Mr. Raider? An officer inquired. Oh, I have suspicions why, Raider replied. I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper